So this is a little fly I've kind of been playing around with the past you know, few days, maybe a week or so. But uh, this is probably going to be the far from final product, but where it's at right now, I think it'll do fairly well. And thought I'd share this with you guys, and got a couple of requests for it, so that's kind of the main reason. But thought I'd share it. Um, so, hook here is a size 16, and it's these ones here. It's uh, put out by Umpqua, but they're TMCO made, and that's 206BL. Um, you could use scud hooks, emerger hooks for this, you know, whatever you got. But these are really neat looking, I think. And that black finish really gives it a little bit extra. So, and I've got just a. Uh, black nickel bead on there you know size to fit the hook and then it's got black 8 dot thread I'm gonna start that right behind the bead just kind of build up a little bit give it a stopper and keep it from sliding down a whole bunch while I'm working a little bit of fussy there but that's okay All right, and then just got extra small silver wire. You could use uh, small or you know, even up to brassy size. I'd say probably brassy size is the upper limit for it. But uh, you could use small size if you want a little bit more, um, a little bit more contrast between the background and this wire. You know, generally if you want it to pop out a little bit more, but. This extra small works fine and, you know, looks good to me, so it's really more there to you know, give it just a faint look of ribbing, but really not structurally important or, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's not important for protection over anything because we're going to be putting a good gob of stuff on there of the uh, UV stuff, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then just taking that down. I like to tie in my wires and stuff on the side just because, you know, when you look at bugs and stuff, they're not round. They're more flat than round. So just tie it in on the side. helps keep it from spinning around the hook and kind of giving you weird bumps and lumps and stuff like that. And, you know, just looks a little bit better than tying it on top or on bottom, I think. So. All right, and then we've got... Uh, pearl tinsel and this is medium again you can use small you can use large whatever you want to use but medium is you know medium it's right in the middle and works for top to bottom end of sizes and this is medium and nice blue pearl and this just gives a kind of neat underbody look to the fly and gives a little bit of good good flash on there kind of a neat look Alright, and then just going to trim that to a point, not necessarily pencil point, but just cut it on an angle. I uh, don't think you guys are going to be able to see that, but just cut it on an angle. And that just helps with tie in. And the reason why I tie this in on the back is that you don't get that weird crinkle that you'll get if you tie it in the whole length and then try to wrap it. You know, you get a weird fold or weird crinkle sometimes. And, and there's ways that you can get around to having that. I mean, you can kind of crease it and stuff, but this way just works out easier and gives you a cleaner underbody, I think, so... Right, and then you just kind of want to clean it up a little bit, build just a really, really slight taper, and then 
just going to wrap this around, slightly over wrapping each other. Just going to bring that all the way up to the front. I mean, we're going to be building up a thorax, but there's no reason to stop there, you know. So we're just trying to get this secured and tight. And you can always wrap back over it and stuff, so. Alright, we're going to trim that out. Then clean up the end and cover up where our thorax is going to be. Alright, and then we're going to take this. Then wrap it up. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can counter wrap it or wrap it up the same way. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it's not really here to protect the tensile so much as it is to just represent ribbing. So now I've got that wrapped up. Just helicopter that off. Cover up that butt end. All right, and then um, let's see where that went. Yep. So just got black thin skin, and you can use whatever you want for this. I mean, you can even use clear, but I like black. trim off a small section of it here. Now when I'm tying in um, thin skin, especially the black, the clear and some of the other stuff, I don't really worry too much about it. Um, but with the black I do. So when you peel this off the backing, this side that was touching the backing is a side that, um, I believe that's the side that they print or, you know, color up the, the actual thin skin material. So that side that came off the backing, I want facing up when I tie it in, so when I pull it over, it's going to be facing down into the dubbing and has less of a chance of wearing off. And tie that in and length of the thorax. I mean, you're looking same amount as just about any other fly. I mean, about two thirds the body. All right, or two thirds body, one third thorax, or you know what I mean. So, here I've got all of ice dub, and I've got black squirrel SLF. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of put these two packets together and pull out just a little bit of both. And then just kind of blend these together. This will just give it a little bit more flash and kind of a cool look. And just dub that onto your thread. Now with these buggy dubbings and stuff, and they're especially like the SLF where they have longer fibers mixed in there and you can kind of get away with it. I like to build up fairly fairly thick, you know, because more fibers that you can get in there, the more that'll stick out. Look a bit better for you and you can always tighten it down and thin it out too if you need. Okay. 
Okay. So you've got quite a bit of bulk on there, so just kind of stroke it down. You're gonna pull over your thorax cover. And just come over it with your thread and tighten it down right behind the bead. Okay, and then pull that excess thorax cover and all these fibers that are going forward, you're going to pull those back. Just give it two wraps. And then I come in here, just give it a quick whip finish. Alright. Trim out our thread. Trim out the extra thorax cover. And what we're going to do is stroke these back forward. And then you can do this part before you do any of the dubbing or any of the other stuff up here, but um, you can wait to the end too, it doesn't really matter. We just got a uh, Loon UV fly, fi uh, fly Finish and Flow. You can use thin or thick, whatever you got, but the Flow works pretty well for this. It seeps down into everything. Dries tack free so you don't have to bother with putting head cement or anything else on it. It's really, really thin layer to begin with. Very little. Okay, and then I just kind of like to spin this around and give it some time to seep down into you know any areas if it can get underneath that tinsel or anywhere else and just give us some time to do that and you can see the uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the camera but while you're doing this you can see the color of that tinsel change and the underbody color kind of come through and then while you're spinning this or why you're spinning this I guess I should say is um, just to keep that the finish from uh, pooling up anywhere and running and just keep kind of spread out even. Okay, and then come in with the light and just set that. Okay. And then I do like to come back in. I mean, it's that's done right there if you want, but I do like to come back in and give it second thicker coat if you do put on too much you can just get if I can get it out of here just get a bodkin and wipe away some of that extra okay and then just gonna spin it around again kinda let it sit in different spots and let it run down and you know just to get the body even and set it once you're happy with it okay and then now can slide these all forward all these fibers and stuff or slide them back I guess I should say and then um, you can build up a hot spot if you want, and I do like to do it. It gives it a neat look and maybe a little bit of something extra for the fish. So, um, all I've got here is Uni A dot, and that's fire orange. And, and you can do orange chartreuse, whatever color you want. Just something a little bit brighter. Chartreuse would probably look good because it would probably complement that olive ice tub, but got orange here. Then 
and attach that right behind the bead and you want to, you want to take your time with this you don't want to rush it because you want it to be nice and clean and not too thick and you want to be able to clean up everything but you, know, you don't want this huge that's a mistake I always make is making this hot spot way too big alright and then once you're happy with it, once you've cleaned it up a little bit, it's going to whip finish and really take your time whip finishing too because this is going to be, it's just like a thread head. I mean, you're, this is what everybody's going to see. You took all that time to build up a hot spot, you might as well make it look good. Just take your time doing that. Okay, and then trim that off. And now, I'm going to take some thin, and you can use thin or thick. Uh, maybe not go as low as flow, but um, thin or thick, just to keep it from seeping down into your dubbing as much. Just going to add just a bit right on top of our thin skin. Just to build up a bit of a thorax cover. And you want it to sit onto your thread hot spot too because that'll help um, protect that and keep that from unraveling if it ever does. Alright, and then once that's set, you can come in with flow or what I like to use, just head cement. Um, does the same thing, just takes the tack away. Just real thin bit of that. And then you can come in and trim stuff up. I do like to trim out the longer eye stub fibers, but I'll normally leave the, the squirrel. Just keep it nice and buggy. But it's pretty much all there is to it. Um, be on the lookout for more updates to this fly if you're if you like it so anyways give it a try and catching fish on it let me know